Hello there and welcome back to series three of Frank Shed TV. Thanks for joining us in our new haunt in Cavanagh's Barn venue. We're joined here by five very melodic fellas who are based in Limerick, who are doing a great service for the popularity of Irish folk music. Big welcome to Hermitage Green. Yeah. Could you introduce yourselves and tell us what you do? I'm Dermot, I play the bow on and uh, percussion. I'm Barry, I play the bass. I'm Dan, I play dobro and I sing. I'm Dara and I play guitar. Dar as well, play the djembe and the banjo. Good to meet you all lads. So um, too. it seems you're becoming a hot commodity in Ireland these days. So what's your secret? Um, long walks on the beach and lifetime friendship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us the story behind the name? Of the band? Yeah. Um, we, <laughs> Daniel. <You're there. laughs> Myself and Barry are brothers. Um, we grew up in an estate in Limerick called the Hermitage. And we had no green area when we were growing up. Long story short, and there's no green. We, we were deprived, and uh, yeah, we were putting the band together. We still from the retention. No green. So, uh, it only took us six months to come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give us a brief history of the band and how you got your big break? Uh, still waiting for the big break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, started playing together about three years ago. Just um, five mates messing around in a pub in Limerick, um, the Curragour, on a Monday night, and that kind of came to. Uh, be a regular thing and then people started coming to see us we started writing our own music and gradually we've gotten onto the circuit in, in Ireland and playing festivals all summer and uh, we just released an EP last year and now we're looking to uh, start recording our album for early release next year. If you were pushed to describe the, the type of music you make or, or your general sound what would you say? It's acoustic uh, folk rock I suppose it was based in a, a session where we all came in. I love this, right? <laughs> every time, every time I do an interview, I always get so nervous because all the boys stare at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Go on, keep yeah. It going, <laughs> oh, my, um, so Dara Griffin writes all the songs, so gives us the song, and we kind of put it around uh, the instrumentation. So I see you're, you're playing your dobro like a lap steel and everything. Yeah, Sounds great though. Fairness. Um. Cheers. I'm kicking things off. What's your first song going to be? It's a song called Gibson. It would have been actually the second song that I wrote with the band, and it's just a, it's a made-up story. I kind of had a, a just a bit of a guitar piece that I used to play and mess around with and I kind of had a dark kind of western feel so it's already about a guy called Gibson who was in jail and he organises that his five mates would break him out and they're gonna, he's going to pay them each a bar of gold but he gets greedy and uh, kills them all in their sleep and takes the gold and then gets pure guilty about it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Gibson, get stuck in! Marching to the country, blade in hand for all to see. Each who get what he is game for, no man will fall, they all agree. At some down they hit the jailhouse, each death conceal a 33. I will not wait and now it's we handed out the key With skin and bone With hands of stone No bandit vinge But held his own With Gibson free They deathly They cloud the skies They could retrieve So they thought Just 
wants to be, or who or what? Personally, I love my trad. That's like me for like in the band called Keela. Keela had a restraining. <laughs> <laughs> he was a stalker for years. I'm not snagging you, man. We're ten years away. <laughs> I'd be a big trad fan myself as well, but uh, from kind of songwriting point of view, very much kind of Nick Drake and John mm -hmm. Martin and Daddy Ra. I heard the Irish rugby team was a big fan of yours. Uh, the, you've even serenaded them. Uh, for a match. I used to play with rugby, so I know quite a lot of the lads, and oh, here he goes. it's a regular thing they do. <laughs> 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 it's a regular thing they do. They get in bands to, to play for them in, um, in the hotel before big games on Wednesday night just to kind of relax them. Declan Kidney got in touch with us before the Argentina game in November and asked us if we come in and do an acoustic session. Obviously, we're delighted to do it. I heard it was Mumford and Sons the year before, yeah? It was, yeah. I think yeah. Snow Patrol, Mumford and Sons, Christy Moore, he regularly does. If someone was uh, to write a, a biography about the life and times of Hermitage Green, what do you think the title should be? I would say the dirt, but I'm not going to use that one already. <laughs> you have to die a few times to <laughs> earn that title. Have you got any major goals set, or what's next on the agenda for the band? I mean, certainly an album within the, uh, the next couple of months. We're kind of in the final stages of deciding bits and pieces of producers and that sort of stuff, so it's, uh, it's on the way, 2014. Deadly. We're coming to your closing anthem, so what have you got in store? We're going to do a song actually now in a minute that's uh, about our first tour abroad. We went to Florida last year for Paddy's <coughs> Day and we decided not to bring any of our instruments because the customs might stop us going over and stuff, so we rented them and borrowed them and we got in touch with a bluegrass band over there and rented them and the first day we got there was like Tuesday morning and we went and met them and swapped over all the equipment, put them into our van we'd rented and then gave them a bottle of Jemison that we'd gotten in the airport on the way over to thank them. And then we collectively drank the bottle of Jemison in the bar and when we got back to pick up the van it was gone and all their equipment was stolen. Um, so we had a two week tour, Florida was no equipment and uh, we wrote a song about it. Florida Blues, let it rip. What have you got 
left in store for these men who come to sing song by your shore. He invites you a table, leave us to believe that this place is more than just liars and thieves. Florida, what have you got left in store for these men who come to sing song by your shore? He invites you a table, leave us to believe that this place is more than just liars and thieves. An aggressive dolphin. Finn Bar Furious. <laughs> Good job. There you have it, folks. Lads, I'd like to thank you all for coming in. Really appreciate it. And uh, may your star continue to rise. And um, if you want to keep up with the adventures of Hermitage Green, just go to hermitagegreen.com and check back with us next time on Frank Shed TV. Later. Thank you. Very much.